Well, good morning. Let me know if you can all hear me because this is going live. Let's see, I can put my phone maybe here. How's that? That should be good. Well, good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias. Uh, let me know if you can hear this. I just got back from my morning walk. So it's a beautiful day here in Clear Lake. This is what it looks like out there. There's my car. I have a Honda Accord. Do you know why I have a Honda Accord? Did I ever tell you why I have a Honda Accord? Because it's the only car mentioned in the Bible. Yes, it says it right there in the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles entered the temple in one accord. <clears throat> Hopefully you like that one. See, even my car is uh, mentioned from the Bible. But uh, I wanted to reflect with all of you. I was on my morning walk and I felt very inspired. Very, very inspired by the Lord. Uh, estaba yo caminando uh, y también corriendo un poquito uh, desde las uh, cinco y media de la mañana. Y pues el Señor me dio una palabra para poder uh, compartir con todos ustedes. And the Lord gave me this word to share with all of you. Because one of the things I did is I picked up the um, mail in the... Uh, post office, in our post office box. Una de las cosas que hice es uh, agarré el correo del, de la post office box, del, de la caja que tenemos nosotros en el, uh, en el correo. And one of the letters, when I looked at it, it says, no postage stamp affixed to the letter and could not be delivered. The mail could not be delivered. The letter was not delivered because it did not have a postage stamp on it. It fell off. No, y una de las cartas que yo recogí no llegó a su destino porque uh, la estampilla no se se despegó y no podía llegar la carta a la persona porque se despegó la estampilla. Así que la única manera para que la carta, por ejemplo, no, aquí nosotros tenemos los paquetes que yo estoy uh, mandando a las personas, ¿ok? Uh, no, uh, para que este paquete llegue a Sonia, no a la que le, le, le voy a mandar, Y para acá, eh, este paquete a uh, Yesenia y este, no, a otra persona. Ok, para que estos lleguen, las estampitas tienen que estar pegadas. Si se despegan, no van a llegar. No, in order for these uh, packets to get to their destination, the stamp has to remain affixed. It has to stick to the letter. But the value of the postage stamp, and that's where the Lord gave me this word for each of us this morning, and I want to share, with, share it with you, and I wrote some things down. The value of a postage stamp is its ability to stick to one thing until it gets there. So the value of the postage stamp is its ability to stick to one thing until it gets to its destination. El, el valor, uh, the value, how do you say the value in Spanish? Uh, no, eh, help me out, how do you say value? Somebody write, write it down for me. How do you say the value of something in, uh, uh, in Spanish? Okay. 
the value of a post-it stamp is its ability to stick to one thing until it gets there. Ok, valor, sí, entonces dije bien, que bien, ok. No, el valor de la, de la estampilla es su habilidad, su poder de poder estar pegado todo el tiempo hasta la carta llegue a su destino. O sea, si se despega la estampilla, el valor de la estampilla es su poder de estar pegado a la carta, al sobre. Si se despega la estampilla del sobre, no va a llegar a su destino. The, va the value of the stamp is not determined based on the picture that's on it, okay, or do you understand what I'm trying to say here? Um, comment if you're, if you're getting everything, okay? The value of the stamp is not determined based on the picture that's on it, not the label that's on the stamp, but its ability to stick to the letter. No, el valor de la estampilla no es uh, la foto, la fotografía que, que tiene, sino su habilidad, su poder no de estar pegado al sobre. So that then translated into this word that I want to share with you today. And that is that your value isn't your label, the clothes you wear, or the last name you have, or the outside color of your skin, whether you are white or black or brown or the language you speak or the neighborhood you live in. Your value is not dependent on getting a Louis Vuitton $2,000 uh, bag or a Rolex watch, or your, or getting a big house, or, or uh, having a BMW, or a Mercedes, or a Tesla, or living in a gated community, or the education you you have, or the family that you come from. Your value isn't determined based on your label, but on your ability to stick to the one. And who is the one? Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's my word for all of you today. Our value isn't determined based on the label that the world places on us. Our value is determined by the one that we stick to. As long as we stick to Jesus, that's where our value comes from. Our value comes from Him. And so we have to be stuck to Jesus. That's why I'm so stuck to Him. Ooh, my value isn't determined by the label that the world places on me. My value is determined by me sticking to Jesus. And that's why I have to be stuck to Him. And as long as I'm stuck to Him, I will make it to my destination. Oh, God. I feel so good today after this word that the Lord gave me when I picked up that letter. And it says, it couldn't get there because the stamp was not stuck to the letter. The stamp did not remain affixed. It did not stick to the letter. So it did not get to the destination. The only way for us to get to our destination. And what is our destination? Our destination is heaven. Our destination is God. God is heaven. Our destination, what we await to be with God forever. Love is our destination because God is love. Peace is our destination because God is peace. That's our destination. And the only way to get there is to remain with Jesus, affixed to Him. I'm so stuck on Jesus.
Are you stuck on Jesus? See this? I'm, I want to tell you something. You know, in, in, uh, in, in looking at this letter from this post office box, I, I got this postage stamp anointing today that is all over me. I'm having such a wonderful day. Because, you know, I got up at like four in the morning and I said, this is such a great day. I looked outside and I said, this is a great day to be alive. It's a great day for running. It is a great day to go for a jog. I can't wait to go outside and to enjoy this beautiful day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I rejoice each and every single day as I am affixed to Jesus. No, déjenme decirles uh, esto en español para todos ustedes que están watchando ahorita. Antes de que se me forgatea, no decirles esto en español. Que eh, el valor de la estampilla no es la fotografía de un presidente que tiene. O de un personaje. O de un monumento. No, el valor no, no, es, no es lo que está en la estampilla, sino el valor de la estampilla es su habilidad, su poder de estar pegado al sobre para llegar a su destino. Así que nuestro valor, tu valor, no está lo que es, está encima de ti. O sea, tu valor no es... No es uh, eh, no, no, son, no es la ropa más cara que te pones. Eso no determina tu valor. Tu valor no es el nombre que el mundo te ha puesto. Muchas veces no, para nosotros como inmigrantes nos ponen diferentes nombres. ¿no? No, eh, tu valor no, no se determina del color de la piel o el lenguaje que hablas. No, o el vecindario donde vives, o el dinero que tienes. Tu valor no se determina eh, eh, si, si vas eh, de compras en la segunda, o si vas de compras en la pulga, o si vas a la tienda más cara. No, eh, el valor tuyo no se determina de lo que está afuera de ti, sino el valor se determina, el, tu valor se, se determina sobre a quién estás tú pegado para poder llegar al destino. Yo estoy pegado al Señor Jesús. Y Él es mi garantía. Mientras que yo permanezco pegado a Él, que voy a llegar yo a mi destino. So we have to be stuck to Jesus, to stick with Him. The one, the only one who can get you to the de destination you are destined for. The Bible says, our eyes are fixed on the Lord. My citizenship is in heaven. I want the Lord. I am sticking with him, not with the world and its lures and its lies. I'm not going to allow this world to label me. And I'm not going to allow it to determine my value. Are you allowing the labels of the world to determine your value? How do you say label in Spanish? Help me out here, okay? Juanito, yo veo que tú, me, tú hablas bien el inglés, okay? Help me out. How do you say label, okay? Come on, help me out. How do we say label in Spanish? Your value is not determined by the label of the world and the racism and the prejudice that exists in the world and the sexism that exists in the world, and all the people who want to label you, your haters, your past, your mistakes, do not determine your value. No, la etiqueta, esa es la palabra. Gracias, Laura de la Torre, okay? No, la etiqueta que te pone el mundo, no dejas... Que el mundo con sus etiquetas te determina el valor que tienes tú. Porque tu valor viene de que eres un hijo e hija de Dios. Your value 
is from the label that God gives you, which is his child. You are a child of God. That is the only label that matters. Yes. La única etiqueta que te debe de importar no es que te eres una persona divorciada, como te dicen, ¿verdad? O que eres un mexicano, o que eres ilegal, o que eres esto, o que eres el otro, ¿no? Esas son etiquetas del mundo. O no con sus prejuicios y con todo lo que ponen, ¿verdad? ¡No! El único que tiene el poder de darme una etiqueta no es el viejo, no, eh, que yo dejé en mi pasado, que me abusó. No voy a dar el poder de etiquetarme a algunos, no, que me odian en el mundo. I'm not going to allow my haters in the world to label me. No. I will not give them the power to label me. The only one who can label me is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And as long as I'm stuck to him, and as long as I stick to him, I'm going to make it to my destination. And that destination is glorious. No, no, el único que tiene el poder de etiquetarme no son los que me odian, que hablan mal de mí, los chismosos. No. Lo, el único que tiene el poder de etiquetarme es el Señor Jesús. Y no voy a de, dar ese poder a alguien. I'm not going to give that power to somebody. No dejen ustedes que las personas que les tienen, re, no, que los odian o que les tienen celos. All, your, all the people who are jealous and envious of you. Don't let them label you. Don't give them the power. Do not give them the power. You have the power because of who you remain stuck to. Don't allow that. Don't allow your enemies to have the power to label you and bring you down. No. Absolutely not. No les den ustedes ese poder para que los etiqueten. No den al mundo eso. No, the world that wants to label you. Don't allow that. I'm not going to allow this world to label me and allow it to determine my value. I got a message for all, the, for, for all of you. You know what you should say to all those who want to label you? Hell no! I was walking around this morning and I said, no! You know, the, the, the devil who always comes to me in my, in, uh, with, because of the past that I have and, and who wants to say, you know, you are ugly. And that's when I replace those, when the devil tells me, you know, you're ugly or you're fat. You know what I say? Hell no, devil. I'm a beautiful child of God. The devil comes and says, you will not make it. Of course I will make it. You replace those thoughts that come from the devil. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Whenever the devil says a word, to you. You replace that word of the devil. You crush the devil and you say, no, my past doesn't determine my value. My mistakes do not determine my value. Absolutely not. Cuando viene el demonio y los quiere decaer, yo estaba caminando y siempre el demonio me viene, ¿no? Por el pasado que yo he tenido, ¿no? Y, y siempre me quiere que yo mire mis lonjas y que no, todo el tiempo estoy yo diciendo, ay, no estoy pero tan gordo. No, porque así me ataca el demonio a mí. Cada, cada, tenemos el aguijón todos, ¿no? La segunda carta de los Corintios, eh, ahí capítulo 12, segunda carta de Corintios capítulo 12 te dice, San Pablo, que hay un aguijón que todos tenemos, algo que siempre nos está, una espina, no una espina que ahí nos está eh, picando. Esa es mi espina que yo me estaba mirando como siempre y digo, ay, no, soy tan gordo, soy tan feo. Oh. No, y luego lo reemplazo yo inmediatamente. No, 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 demonio, tú no tienes el poder de etiquetarme. El único que tiene ese poder es Dios y para él yo soy bonito. Y aunque todos en el mundo me, me dirán que soy gordo o lo que sea, jamás voy a creer yo las mentiras del demonio. Y eso es lo que tienen que hacer ustedes. 
en sus vidas. Cuando el demonio les viene y les dice, no, tienes un mal nariz, lo tienes que arreglar. Como una persona una vez me dijo, cuando dice, no, tu, tu, tu nariz es eh, deformado. Entonces yo ya tenía eso bien metido en mi cabeza y como tengo esos problemas que siempre me están atacando, ese es mi aguijón, no, ay, ah, ay, me ataca siempre el demonio, ¿no? Y cuántas personas se quieren operar del, del nariz o de otra cosa, ¿verdad? No, el otro día alguien me dijo que se me notan las um, ojeras, ¿no? Entonces ya, oh, como ahorita, ¿verdad? Ok, Por, bueno, oh, y, y ahí, ahí ataca el demonio y hay que reemplazar esos pensamientos negativos con los pensamientos de Dios. When the devil attacks you with these negative thoughts, like, you know, that there's something wrong with your nose, that, you know, you have uh, dark circles under your eyes, that you need to lift that or lift that. What you have to do is you have to replace those evil, devilish thoughts and say, hell no, to hell with you, devil. I am a child of God. I am a beautiful child of God. I am beautifully and wonderfully made in the image and likeness of God. I am not made in the image and likeness of the world. I am made in the image and likeness of God. God made me and God doesn't make mistakes. God doesn't make garbage. I'm a beautiful child of God. That's what I did this morning as I remain always stuck to Jesus. Siempre estoy yo apegado a Dios. Dios me hizo según su imagen y semejanza. Y Dios no se equivoca. Dios no se equivoca cuando me hizo a mí. ¿Cuántos de ustedes mirándose, mirando su situación? Eso de son inmigrantes. Eso que no tienen papeles. Eso que viven en un vecindario. Eso que vivimos en un mundo racista por su color de piel. O por falta de esto, por falta de valores o por lo que les haya pasado. Ustedes se sienten decaídos. Y viene el Señor y dice, deja de escuchar al maldito demonio y escúchame a mí porque tú eres mío. Yo soy tu padre, yo te hice. Dios nos ha hecho a nosotros según su imagen y semejanza. Tú no estás hecho según la imagen del mundo. Tú estás hecho según la imagen de Dios. Lo estás reflejando. Cuando yo me miro en el espejo, siempre veo algo mal. Por eso no, no me puedo mirar yo en el espejo. Ese es el aguijón que yo tengo. No, que siempre hay me está... Tengo muchos problemas, obviamente. Como cada persona, traigo cosas de mi pasado y siempre eso me está ay, picando. Entonces no me puedo ver yo en, en, el, um, eh, en, en el espejo. Pero es, eso yo sé que viene del demonio. Y cuando me veo yo en el espejo, tengo inmediatamente que no machucar el demonio y decir ¡No! ¡No! Yo estoy hecho según la imagen de Dios. Y si quiero ver a Dios, me tengo que ver en el espejo. Porque yo reflejo a Dios. Dios me hizo. Every single one of us has some sort of thorn in the side. The second chapter of, uh, the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 12, speaks about the thorn in the side. And of course, my thorn is the thorn of my past, which is that because I was so heavy and because I was bullied and because I was called all these names, I, and I have this in me where I feel ugly and where I feel like there's something wrong with me and where I feel that I'm fat and I have all of these things in me. And whenever those thoughts come, I have to remind myself I am made in the image and likeness of God. And it's very hard for me to look in the mirror. But when I look in the mirror and the devil comes and he attacks me, I have to say, no, devil, no. I am made in the image of God. And if I want to see God, I look in the mirror. You want to see God? Look in the mirror. You are beautifully and wonderfully made in the image and likeness of God. Are you sticking to Jesus or are you sticking to the world? Who are you sticking to? I'm asking you all right now. How come you're all not commenting? I'm looking at all these comments here. 
Why? No, ¿Por qué no están comentando ustedes? Aquí yo quiero ver no, si les está llegando esta palabra. So, what are you going to do when the devil's attacking you? Say, hell no, devil. I will not believe your lies. You will not believe the lies of God. I'm not going to allow this world, which is corrupt. It's a, the Bible says it's a corrupt generation. And we see with all the violence around. It's a corrupt generation, the Bible says. I'm not going to allow this corrupt generation, this plastic surgery generation that we are in. I'm not going to allow it. I will not allow it to label me. The only one who labeled me is Jesus. Ooh. I mean, I, I feel like running around, but I have this, you know, I'm, I'm live right now, but I'd be running around. And that's why it's the best time for me to reflect because I feel like whenever the word hits me and I'm, I, I, I read something or I, uh, or I listen to something and then it just hits me and I, 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 I have to run. So that's why it's the best time for me to reflect because I, I'm like that uh, uh, crippled man uh, in Acts chapter 3, the, the book of Acts, after he was healed, uh, Jesus touched, uh, touched him through Peter. And what did he do? The Bible says he ran, he ran around the temple. And so often I feel like doing that in the church. But if I did that, all of you would think I'm, shh, okay. But the, the, the word just hits me. So my past doesn't determine my value. My mistakes do not determine my value. Your mistakes do not determine your value. Do you know that? Your shortcomings do not determine your value. The people around me do not determine my value. The labels they put on me with their hateful words do not determine my value. The names they call me, the demeaning names, the derogatory names, no! I'm not fat, I'm not ugly, I'm not this or that or any kind of word they want to call me. I refuse to let their labels determine my value. I know who I am. Woo! Do you know who you are? Come on, comment there. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? I'm asking you all a question right now. Do you know who you are? Thank you, Melissa. I'm look, seeing here, Melissa Long. Thank you. My mistakes do not determine my value. There you go. Mm -mm -mm. Come on now. Is something hit you during this reflection? I'm about to finish right now, okay? I'm getting towards the end. Hello there. Is something hit you during this reflection? I know who I am. I am a child of God, and I refuse to wear any other type of garb that the world wants to place on me. I refuse to let the world give me a garb. The only garb I'm going to be wearing is the garb of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. The garb of salvation. To hell with the labels of the world. I am not a mistake. I am not a divorcee, right? You know, like some of you, you allow the world to label you, put labels on you. Uh-uh. I'm not that, I am not that, that which happened to me in the past. And I will not allow my past to define me. My value is from the Lord. And if I stick to the Lord, I will make it to my destination. No? Okay. I'm going to cover the other the person's address here because I don't want to give it away. Okay, so what are we going to do? Be the stamp that sticks to the letter. Are you going to be the stamp that sticks to the letter? Ustedes van a ser las estampillas no, que no se despeguen de la, de la carta. ¿Cuál es la carta? Jesús. What's the letter? Jesus Christ. And it's, it really, it, I mean, it hit me this morning. What does the Bible say Jesus is? Hello? La Biblia que nos dice, Jesús es la palabra. Es el verbo. And what is the letter? He's the word. What is the letter? 
The word. Jesus is the word. Do you understand how that just stuck? I mean, it, it just like, it, it, I, it went through me today. He is the word. And you need to be affixed to him, to Jesus. You get fixed to Jesus, affixed to Jesus. Stick with Jesus. And you will make it to your destination. No, él es la palabra. La palabra, no, el verbo. Y tenemos que nosotros estar apegados a la palabra. That's why you have to read the Bible. And you have to listen to the word. You need that in your life. Por eso no, tenemos que leer la palabra de Dios. That's why we have to read the word of God. And listen to the word of God. To have the word of God. And to be affixed to the word of God. And not to the words of the world. Who's, which wor words are you listening to? The words of the world? The words of violence, of labels? Huh? No, who, who are you listening to? I'm asking all of you. How come people are not commenting here? No. Uh, ¿Tú estás escuchando cuál palabra? ¿La del mundo? ¿O la de Dios? Huh? Who are you listening to? ¿A quién estás escuchando, Norma Ayala? ¿A quién estás escuchando? ¿Ah? Who are you listening to? Who are you attached to? ¿A quién estás, no, tú apegado? ¿A las palabras del mundo o a la palabra de Dios? Yo estoy apegado a la palabra de Dios. ¿Y ustedes? ¿Ah? I am, st I am, if I stick to the, to the, if I stick to the world, I won't make it. If I stick to the world. ¿Mm? Si voy a estar yo apegado al mundo, no voy a llegar yo a mi destino. Y muchos de ustedes así están apegados al mundo. Mm -hmm. No, a, a los antros, a ahorita que abrieron los casinos. No dicen que los casinos están rellenos. ¿eh? Toda la gente ahí. ¿Mm? No, a la botella. A lo mundano. If, you, if you're stuck to the world, to worldly things, you won't make it. Right now, you know, they opened up the casinos and I guess they're like, fool! Come on now. What's wrong with you? Stop being stuck to the world. If you're stuck to worldly things. Yeah, to all that negative news that so many of you are listening to. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's why you're like that. That's why you got, uh, that, that's why it's so bad because of all the, of the words you are listening to. You're stuck to what? The bottle? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Stuck to the casino. I keep talking about the casino because it's so dangerous. Stuck to pornography. Stuck to the nightclub. Stuck to bars. Those are worldly things. Stop it. Get away from the world. We are to live in the world, but not be of the world. I live in the world, but my, my mind is always on the things of heaven. That's what the, but the Bible says. My citizenship is in heaven. My citizenship ain't here. Mm -mm. I'm always thinking of the things of God. That's why, you know, in the midst of everything I have to go through. Oh, yeah. In the midst of everything going on inside of me. I have peace. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, because I'm listening and I'm stuck to Jesus, to the, to the word of God. No, ¿por qué te va mal en, el mundo, en, en esta vida? ¿Por qué te va mal? Porque sigues apegado y escuchando las palabras del mundo. ¿Mm? No, sigues, sigues apegado a lo mundano. No, al sexo, a la pornografía, uh -huh, a otras personas. Eso, ah, eso no querían escuchar. Al casino, tantos de ustedes, ¿no? Oh, sí, a la botella, al chisme. Ay, padre, pero bien que me entretiene, ¿no? A las noticias malas, al racismo, a la violencia. ¿Por qué no vinieron tantos a misa el miércoles? Por ser mundanos. Tengo miedo. Tengo miedo. 
Dios nos dio el espíritu de miedo o el espíritu de fortaleza. ¿Cuál es el espíritu que nos dio Dios? Fortaleza. Yo, yo tengo un espíritu de fortaleza. I have a spirit of strength and of valor, not a spirit of fear. I want to see you all on Sunday at 9 o'clock in English and at 12 o'clock in Spanish in church. We do not live with the spirit of fear. I was so sad. Oh, I'm not going to go to church anymore. I mean, come on now. What? Can I mean, we're going to stop living because of the coronavirus? What's wrong with you? Yeah, we take, we take the appropriate precautions. But life continues. Life continues. We have to have mass and be nourished by our presence together. We have to be nourished by the Eucharist. Oh, but I watch it on TV. Okay, sure. Oh, I mean, come on. Oh, well, the next time, because people are saying, well, I'm just going to watch mass on, on television from now on. You know, now that the, the Pope and everybody has said there is a general dispensation, which means, you know, I, I guess I don't have to go to church anymore, you know. Well, let me tell you this. Next time you're hungry, turn on the cooking channel, the Food Network, and eat, eat from the cooking channel. Next time you're hungry, put on the Food Network. Todos los que dicen, ya no voy a ir a misa, solo voy a ver, no, a través del, uh, de la tele. Entonces, la próxima vez que te dé hambre, ponte, no, Masterchef. Ponte Masterchef y traga del Masterchef. A ver si te llenas. Yeah, why don't you wa watch the cooking channel? We do not have a spirit of fear. I refuse to live by the spirit of fear. No. I live with the spirit of God, which is strength and courage and confidence. Tenemos que confiar en Dios y todo va a estar bien. Obviamente con todas las precauciones que nos dicen. You know, obviously we take the precautions that the medical people are telling us to, to do. Yeah, I mean, you know, we wear the masks, we social distance and all of that. But we have to have church. We have to come together. I'm very disappointed in a lot of people who keep messaging me with this stuff. No, no, I'm not going to go to church. No, no, no. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to get... No. What, a, what, a, what a life. What a life. You're going to social distance from uh, and isolate for the rest of your life? I mean, what... what, what <sighs> no. That is not the spirit we have been given. No. And all of you who live in my parish, unless you are, you have some valid reason not to be here, I want to see you in church. And I don't want to receive any messages because I'm going to delete them about <laughs> negative people. Tired of all the negative stuff. Tired of it. Stop with the negativity. Start living. Dejen de ser tan negativos. I don't want to... I'm tired of negative stuff. Are we stuck to Jesus or are we stuck to the world? You see, the problem is we are not converted. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the real problem. We are not converted. We, 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 and I, and it's a, it's a process. It's a daily process. Because if we're, if, if I'm all about Jesus, If he is the one that I'm affixed to, no matter what happens to me in this world, I'm going to be okay. My, my destination is heaven. It's not here. Come on. I, I mean, are we Christians or are we not Christians? I have so often I feel like, you know, we, we want to live in the world. The first Christians were different. They were different. And the word holy means being different. Holy, holy, holy. Before we, we always recite that, the word holy means different. La palabra santo significa 
diferente. The best thing you can tell me is that I'm holy. And whenever somebody sends me a message like that, I love it. And I'm not, oh, I'm not going to be all, oh, no, no. Yeah, I want to be holy, of course. A lot of people want to be rich, you know, they, they want to be successful, they want to be famous, they want this and this. I want to be holy. That's what I want to be. That's why I'm able to work such miracles in the name of Jesus in my priesthood. Because of the holiness that is in me. By being affixed to Jesus. No, yo quiero ser santo. Por eso puedo yo, en el nombre de Jesús, hacer tantos milagros. Por ser santo. No mundano. Yo no quiero ser mundano. Y en el nombre de Jesús, quien me hizo diferente, yo puedo hacer tantas cosas. Porque realmente estoy convencido de Él. Because I'm convinced of Him. That's the problem, is we are not convinced of Jesus. We are not converted. No, no estamos convertidos. We're not, uh, no, no hay conversión. Puro de primeras comuniones... Uh, eh, confirmaciones y uh, bautizos y todo y hay, ¿no? Oh, yeah. Remain to be stuck with Jesus. And there, I think I just saw Lisa come on. How wonderful. And, uh, yes, I got your message, Lisa, about uh, being up early. And I, she's our bookkeeper. And I signed all the checks, all the bills of the church. Lots of them. Okay, anyway. Thank you, everybody, for uh, always supporting us here. And I want to see all of you uh, that live in the area here at Mass, okay? Thank, um, and if, I've never, if I haven't said it, thank you for all the donations that everybody's been sending. I so appreciate it. Okay, the last thing, and I'm ending right now. I know I said that about 10 minutes ago, but you know me, okay? You know how it is. The Spirit just takes over me and... Ok, ya lo último, uh, no, yo sé que ya dije hace 10 minutos que ya, va, ya iba a ser lo, lo último. Pero les está llegando algo de lo que estoy diciendo. Is this helpful at all or not? Come on. Is it helpful? So if I stick to the world, I won't make it. But I will stick as tightly as I can to the Lord Jesus. He leads me. The Lord is my shepherd. He leads me. He refreshes my soul. So there you go. That's the word for today. Esa es la palabra para hoy. Okay, so now, let me give you all a blessing, a wonderful blessing today. Uh, we do have the masks, those of you who live in, in this area, these beautiful masks. And Hi, Margaret. I see all of you who are on here. Say hello, everybody. Okay, you have any questions? Imelda, hi. I'm praying for you. Richard, are you coming to church on Sunday? How wonderful. They are just, uh, okay. Want to encourage everybody to come. Okay, so here's our statue of St. Jude. I love him. He's wonderful. He helps me so much. Do you know the reason why um, our church does so well financially? Do you want to know why? Ustedes quieren saber por qué nuestra iglesia siempre ha tenido un éxito. No, en, en cada iglesia donde yo he estado, nunca nos ha faltado dinero. En in, in each of the churches I've been in, we've never had any money problems. And you want to know why? Because I always put, I always take a statue of St. Jude and I always put money underneath him. And he always helps. Siempre le pongo yo un billete debajo de eh, San Juditas. Okay, y uh, 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 nunca nos ha faltado. Okay, here are the masks. We've got the masks. So you can get your statue of, 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 did you see the masks? So we have our, the masks of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Uh, Pueden conseguirse, no, el domingo, los que viven cerca, no, vengan a misa. Uh, y vamos a armar la pulga el domingo. Okay, we're going to have our, 
or uh, the masks available for all of you. They're 10 bucks, okay? Aren't they nice? Do you like them? And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna bless them. So then you can have a blessed mask of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Y las voy a bendecir. Ya que ustedes las compran, las voy a ir bendiciendo. Y así pueden tener su máscara de la Virgen de Guadalupe. You like it? ¿Les gusta? ¿O no? Do you like it? Awesome. Y también estamos armando nosotros uh, una tiendita que vamos a poner a través del online para que puedan conseguirse más ustedes uh, las cosas. Ok. Yeah. So then I will bless it and then you can you can have your your mask. So it's available in the office. The wonderful ladies are coming at 10 o'clock. Right now it's just me all by myself in here. But we've got the statues of I can explain more to all of you why that works, because St. Jude is the patron saint of hopelessness. Um, and uh, I also bury uh, St. Joseph always, and he helps. I have all of these wonderful Catholic practices that are um, fantastic. Oh, did you see this picture? This is one of my favorite pictures of myself. Yeah, and I have it in here. Do you like it? ¿Les gusta esta foto o no? ¿Les gusta o no? Comenten. Okay. Sí, okay. So this is, remember my car? So I don't need a Mercedes. I don't need a BMW. Uh, I have a Honda Accord. Why do I have a Honda Accord? ¿Por qué tengo un Honda Accord? Because in the Bible it says, it's all from the Bible. The apostles entered the temple in one accord. So there's there's my, let's see if I can flip this camera. Oh, oh, there. See, we got the statues of St. Jude right here. We got small ones too. Okay, the office opens at 10 o'clock, but all of you who are in the area, come on over on, uh, come on over on Sunday. We have mass at 9 a.m. in English and Yeah, it's our internet. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Es el internet rascuache que tenemos nosotros. Estamos tratando de mejorarlo. It's our really cheap internet that we have here, but we're working on it. I ordered a new one. Um, eh, oh, hi, Norma. Olivia, Terry, Juanito, todos ustedes. Hi, Norma, comment. I'm so happy you're joining here. Oh my goodness, Norma, she's the best looking lady I've ever, ever met. She's so beautiful, Norma. And she she's a good dresser too. She looks fabulous. Always a great inspiration. Margaret, Melissa, Jan, everybody say, say hello. Okay, estamos en Clear Lake. Sorry about the internet um, cutting out, but it's our, it's really bad. Okay, I really apologize. Es un internet rascuache que tenemos nosotros aquí. Hi, Imelda. Say hello, everybody. Okay, so anyway, this is our parish hall. And I wanted to show you because we have it set up for social distancing. So we have three different locations where you can, where um, we have. Oh, and those of you who come, I've got. Um, holy and exercised water so you can take it with you, okay? We have an uh, absolutely fabulous kitchen here. This is where I cook a lot of things. Hi, Lynn. Hello. And we just got this beautiful uh, refrigerator and freezer. And don't ask me how much it was because if I tell you, you're going to have a heart attack. Si les digo cuánto nos costó, Eso es uh, Rosa. So 
we're gonna we're working on getting a new internet but it's gonna cost a little bit more that's why i was kind of i didn't get it before because we couldn't um afford it no no pudimos nosotros pagar uh, por el internet um uh, high speed porque ustedes saben los biles no 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 perdonan okay um so it's so wonderful. Um, I'm, I prayed for all of you. Estaba yo orando por todos ustedes hoy, todititos. Y, um, sí, saludos a todos. Okay, so this is, this is the neighborhood. This is where I go for a walk. Maybe I'll take you for a walk um, one of these uh, mornings at 5 a.m. I go for a walk. I start usually before 5 a.m. Who wants to go on a walk uh, before 5 a.m.? ¿Quién quiere ir conmigo a caminar? And, uh, yo siempre voy antes de las 5 de la mañana. Alguien, no, pero digo caminar uh, uh, este, virtualmente, que, que los llevo con mi teléfono. No, antes de las 5 de la mañana siempre voy. Ok, así que, so, that's our church. Everybody's welcome. Todos están más que bienvenidos. El sol está fuerte. No, esta es la casa donde vivo yo. Okay. This is the house I live in. I'm not going to take you inside because um, I need to clean before I do that. Okay. No los voy a llevar adentro de mi casa porque primero tengo que limpiar antes. Okay. Um, obviamente. No, no quiero que vean ustedes de todo tirado. No les voy a decir que. <laughs> ok. Anyway. Uh, so, um, uh, so, it's absolutely fabulous. Thank you, everybody, for all your donations to our church. You know, here are the bills that I just paid, so... Um, Lisa, who was watching our bookkeeper, and we got a new computer because of all your donations, so we can work on things. Um, so thank you for that. I, I, I so appreciate it. Um, we're going to also try to update the phone system since a lot of you have been complaining about not being able to go through the phone. Here is uh, where Margarita's at. Okay. And there, this is my secret stash. Look at all the wine. Okay, remember, everybody that lives around here knows that when they bring wine, one for one for Jesus and one for the Father. Okay. <laughs> oh, and I got my new Bible. This is this is the Bible I uh I'm so excited. I ordered it. It's fabulous. It's the Augustine Institute Bible. Ya recibí mi nueva Biblia. No sé si está disponible en 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 español. Um, so where can you donate for the Britney Spears headset? Um, here online, uh, Corinne, can you, uh, make sure that, uh, they know how to do that? We'll put up something so you can make a donation. We haven't got, it's $600 and we haven't gotten that money yet. So, um, I, w I haven't been able to purchase it yet. See, there's all the masks for all of you. So, okay. Th there's more secret stashes in here. Okay, there. You see what's in here? Miren, también aquí, no? De, de lo que no nos falta aquí es vino. No, lo que no falta es, uh, es, es vino. That's Archbishop Romero. Okay. El Padre Héctor estaba viéndonos de El Salvador. He got killed by the... Uh, police and military in El Salvador. Archbishop Romero was brutally murdered. Um, there's a wonderful movie about him. He's now a saint. El Arzobispo Romero de El Salvador fue asesinado cuando estaba dando la misa en uh, El Salvador. Actually, he was saying mass and they murdered him. They entered the... Uh, military and the police there in El Salvador in the early 80s. While he was saying mass, they entered the church and they, with a machine gun, they killed him. So I have him everywhere. I have him, 
uh, because he's uh, one of my personal heroes. He's now a saint. Ya es un santo, el arzobispo Romero, mi favorito. ¿Hay alguien del Salvador que está guachando ahorita? Lola, ¿vas a venir el domingo o no? Ok. Um, es, estoy viendo sus comentarios. ¿Hay unos salvadoreños que nos están guachando? No, anybody from El Salvador that's watching? He's fantastic. And they are, that's the best pope ever. Este es el mejor papa de la historia de la iglesia. Porque es el, es, uh, um, Juan Pablo II. This is me saying mass in the shrine of Our Lady of Chestahova. Este soy yo uh, dando misa en Chestahova. Okay. So anyhow, um, actually I'm going to show you something if I can. Because I'm, I, I'm only going to just enter just a little bit. Now that, uh, don't, I'm going to take you to my house. Okay. Just, um, please, mm, Don't, no anden comentando no de, del tiradero, ¿ok? Por favor, no anden comentando del tiradero. Ok. Can you all hear me still or no? With the internet? Oh, ok. Miren, aquí estaba yo exorcizando las uh, velas. Digo, sirios, ¿ok? Y ya son grandes. Para que no, no digan que no les conseguí sirios grandes. ¿Ok? Oh, this is one room in the house. Actually, this one is pretty clean, so I can show you this one. Este cuarto sí es, eh, está, está limpio, les puedo mostrar. Oh, this is me and my mother in Las Vegas some time ago. ¿Ok? And that's, those are my pictures. See, I still put them up. Este soy, no, yo con mi, con mi mamá. Uh, este es yo con mi padre. That's me with my father. That's me and my grandmother. Yo con mi abuelita. En Polonia. Ella está en Polonia. Okay. Más vino. <laughs> ok, nunca nos falta vino. Yeah, uh, ok, anyway, what I was going to show you is... Um, so... Oh, I also have a nice mask. Let's see if I can show you this. Ok. A personal mask. Ok. Yo sí me conseguí una máscara. A ver, ¿cómo, ¿qué piensan ustedes de esta? Ok, para ser muy fashion. Voy a ser fashion. Yo. I'm going to be very fashionable. What do you think? ¿Qué opinan? Ok, bueno. Aquí tengo al arzobispo Romero. Ok. Aquí está Corinne. La que me está ayudando siempre. Está mi abuelita. Aquí está el arzobispo Romero. Aquí hay llaveros. Para que se consigan también. Pero lo que les, les quería demostrar es esto. Ok. What I wanted to show you is um, this huge picture of Archbishop Romero. There's a movie about him. You should um, watch as well. Also, watch this movie. También les recomiendo que vean este movie sobre Father Jerzy Popiewuszko. Ahí les voy a escribir. Jerzy Popiewuszko. Okay. And the name of the movie is To Kill a Priest. Let's see if I get that. To Kill a a priest. It's about the police in Poland killing um, Father Popiewuszko. Okay. So get that movie and watch it. No, consíganse esta película, To Kill a Priest. 
¿no? sobre la vida de Father Jerzy Popiełuszko. Este no es él. Este es Arzobispo Romero. Um, Corinne, could you do me a favor and look up the name of the movie about Archbishop Romero? We watched it on the bus. So put that on there, okay? Write it in, all right, please. Uh, by, también. Hola, Margarita. Estoy viendo todos los uh, comentarios de ustedes. Este, este es la, el picture de uh, la Virgen de Guadalupe que, uh, que conseguí con mi amigo en la tienda de dólar en Chicago cuando estaba era uh, mi, mi primera foto de la Virgen de Guadalupe. Okay. Bonita, ¿verdad? Muy bonita. Aquí está San Juan Pablo II. Y este es cuando me gradué del seminario. Ok. Así me veía en ese tiempo. ¿Ya ven? Ok. Y este soy yo también. Ok. Bueno, esta es mi casa. Ya no les voy a mostrar más porque se van a... Bueno, aquí está mi computadora donde escribo um, varias cosas, ¿ok? Y a, aquí era mi cena ayer. ¿Ya ven? No, es, era nomás una copa y no la terminé, ¿ok? Una sola copa. Just one glass of wine and I did not finish it. ¿Ok? So, um, anyhow, that's... And you always have to, before I go for my run, I always use this. Antes de que voy yo a correr, siempre utilizo este. ¿Saben qué es? You know what this is? That's a deodorant. You all, I always, because you never know who you're going to meet on the streets. And if I run into somebody, um, you know, I mean, I don't, I have to, since I'm running, so... I perfume myself really well, okay? You know, it's out of charity. That's why I always, I take a bath every single day, whether I need it or not, out of charity, okay? Um, so anyway, uh, I used it. See, it's even open. See, está, está usado. No. Yeah, Rosaura, I'm on the live thing and you're calling me when I'm live. I mean, I can't in, uh, I mean, uh, she was calling me while I'm going live. I mean, okay. Este alguien lo regaló, no lo estoy tomando, es, no, ni me gusta, pero alguien lo regaló. Yo no sé, de veras, la gente piensa que soy el padre chupitos, no. Piensan de todo. Okay. So anyway. Um, let me give you all a blessing. I sit out here all the time. So let me give you a blessing. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do I do this? Okay. There. Okay. So let's say a prayer. Everyone that's out here. First of all, let's pray for our nation and uh for peace and for all of us to always be um affixed to jesus i'm sorry for the way my hair looks okay so as i'm bathing myself in the presence of the lord let's pray together vamos a orar todos juntos en el nombre del padre del hijo del Espíritu Santo. Amen. Oh, you know what? It's better if we go to my chapel. Okay. Vamos a ir a mi, a mi capilla. Okay. Todos. Okay, this is my chapel in here. So that's a good place to be, to say our prayer. Okay. All right. We all need to 
always pray. So in order, I'm going to give you a blessing with the stola. The stola represents the priesthood. No, la stola representa el sacerdocio. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Señor, te pedimos tu bendición sobre nosotros. We ask for your blessing, Lord, for ourselves and for our families and for our children and for our nation. As we pray together today, our Father, Padre nuestro, todos oren conmigo, que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre, venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo, danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día, perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden, no nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos del mal. Amén. El Señor esté con ustedes. Que la bendición de Dios Todopoderoso. May the Lord bless each of you. Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo descienda sobre todos ustedes. Tengan bonito día. No, los que viven acá, nos vemos el domingo a las... ¿A qué horas? A las 12. No, dense el tiempo. Y si tu iglesia no está abierta todavía, pues vente, ¿ok? No, maneja, ¿ok? No te va a pasar nada. If your church is closed and you're in the area, not too, too, too far. Yeah, I know some of you say, ah, oh, it's two, three hours away. What is that? I mean, come on. You can make the effort and you're welcome. 9 a.m. in English, 12 o'clock in Spanish. God bless you. Mwah.